Good morning. A new angle for ya. Today, it is January 27th, Wednesday. It is 10, 17 a.m. I'm thirsty AF. And I'm thirsty AF because for some reason, my blood sugar went over 200. When I woke up at 8.30, 8.45, it was 133. Now, I'm at 203. And the only thing I could figure, oh, my ears are so stuffy. I, the only thing I, oh my gosh. The only thing I can figure is because, or the only, like, the cause must be me taking a shower. So I colored my hair. I don't think you're gonna be able to tell if it's a mousse in it. Oh my God, my arms are about dead. <laughs> I almost had to have Rob come help me rinse off my hair because my shower bench, we have a long time ago, like not long after we moved in, we bought a shower head that comes with the that also has a detachable um, sprayer. I guess it's not detachable, it's on the side of it. So you can turn it three different ways. You can have it where they're going at the same time, you can have it where it's just coming from like, it's a huge shower head, or you can have it where it's just coming from the sprayer. So we have it so, so it's just coming from the sprayer and I keep the sprayer like on the side of the bathtub so I can reach it but I have to hold that up to take a shower and wash my hair. And I, I, I was very, very close to asking Rob to come and um, help me wash my hair because I was getting, holding up that, um, that shower sprayer. Cause it's not light, it's heavy. Like we bought heavy duty ones. So that's why when we eventually get a new bathroom, I want to make sure that I have a seat and then I have um, a way that I can either hold it or it'll spray down on me. So we'll see. Hopefully we can start the design phase this year and then start the construction later this year. I don't know. Paid off um, the bill. So we now own our roof and our fence. Yay. Paid it off six years early, which is really, really cool. Hi, Mama. Hey, I'm in my Care Bear shirt. I actually bought this shirt like a year ago today or a year ago this week because I remember seeing my Facebook memories. I just don't remember what day it was. It's a three from Torrid and it's a little too big. <laughs> Sorry, my lips. I forgot to exfoliate them. They're so chapped. So I weighed today and I'm only one pound down from Monday, which is not surprising. Um, so I am officially at 339. So I've lost 50 pounds since January the 2nd, which is unreal, to be quite honest. It's, it's so unreal. So in yesterday's vlog, I talked about how I didn't know if I was gonna keep going and then I was like, oh, it's only two more days. But, and I mentioned in that video that I didn't think I want to go 30 days. But I realized that day 30 would be the ninth, which is the day after my rheumatologist appointment. So, I'm thinking of keeping, keeping going. <laughs> I don't know that I am going to say I'm gonna go to day 30. I think I'm just gonna keep going until I don't feel well. Oh, there's a kitty cat. Hey, my mice. Hi. 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 Oh, you're gonna spill something or knock something over or this girl. Anyway, that's that's kind of where my head is right now. Is like a part of me wants to see what my what my ketones will continue to do because today I'm at 4.4. I don't remember what I was last night. Wasn't I like 5.3? So I'm at 
So, like I said, my goal going forward is to really stay in this deep state of ketosis to let it do its thing. Roxy, hey, no, no. Come here. Come here. Come here. Girl, stop it. Anyway, let me finish the episode before she eats all the plastic. So we'll see. This is just early morning musings. We'll see what I feel like by the end of the day. Like I mentioned, the end of the day is the hardest for me. Um, it really is the hardest for me. This cat loves plastic. Everything at plastic I own has little teeth marks. So yeah, so I'll let you guys know as the day progresses how I feel. Um, I'm going to put some makeup on and um, film a couple of videos and yeah, that's going to be my day. So anyway, we'll, we'll see what's happening. Hey friends, it's just about 3.15. Um, let's hope I can do this without crying because I am really on the verge. So if you missed it, I did an Instagram live today to put on makeup, just to talk about fasting and to put on makeup. And um, then I filmed the video I needed to film and now I gotta take the makeup off and <laughs> my blood sugar has been in the 200s all damn day and I am so beyond over it <laughs> so I think I know today's culprit is um uh, my myasthenia so this morning I uh, colored my hair then I took a shower and I exfoliated and then I did the makeup and then UPS showed up and I ordered if you didn't see it on my Instagram post I ordered some deep dish pizzas from Lou Malnetti's. It's a famous Chicago style deep dish pizza. They have a few restaurants, I'm guessing all through Illinois. And I'd order from them. It's through Taste of Chicago where you can get all sorts of food. But I had ordered from them a few years back. Gosh, I think it's been longer than that. So probably 10 years, because we were in the apartment. We lived in that apartment in 2010, no, 2011. And, um, well, 10 into 11, whatever, I can't even think. I wanted to do something special for Rob, because he's been so supportive, like, so supportive. He's been, he's eaten like freezer meals for the last couple months he basically eats the same four things over and over and I just wanted to do something nice for him but they were supposed to be delivered today and UPS showed up and he walked Bo, uh, Bo that's my brother Rob walked in and he had just this one little package and I was like where's the box and he's like, there wasn't a box. And I'm like, we have to catch the driver. So the driver, before the driver flew off, I was like, hey, I'm missing a box. And he's like, I couldn't find it. I'm like, I said, it's probably pretty big. I said, and it's perishable. So he found it. But I got us, I got us, because I bought me some too. Um, 
some pizzas. So I got him three with the crust, of course, and they make crustless pizzas, which is basically a sausage base with cheese and marinara on top. So um, we got those, but that he handed me the box and the box was so flippin' heavy and I shouldn't have held it. I should have just had him put it on the ground, but I didn't. But I'm pretty sure that's why my blood sugars are so high. It's just because I feel like my myasthenia is in a flare. And I thought I'd made the decision to extend this fast to 30 days. We talked about that this morning, I think. I've been going back and forth about it because 30 days will be the 9th of February, which is the day after the rheumatologist. I'm, I'm going in to get an injection of some sort. So, I don't know. Like, I think physically I could possibly do it. I just don't know mentally if I can commit. So what I thought I would do is just keep going and not necessarily put a date goal in mind. Just go until I don't feel like I can go anymore or I'm just over it. When people say that I'm using my diseases as a way to get sympathy, I just want to scream at them and slap them in the face because I would give... You don't realize how much you take for granted until you don't have that. More. And I don't do this for sympathy. I do this because I'm trying to fucking figure things out. And I feel like every step forward is two steps back. I had such a good blood sugar day yesterday. This is fucking day 19. My blood sugar shouldn't be this elevated. I don't put the face wash directly on my face because I can't stand up that long in front of the sink. So I put it on with a washcloth and then I, I take it off with a washcloth. That BH Cosmetics pencil in my waterline does not want to come off. I said no, bitch, no. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't mean to cry, but I am just so frustrated. Like, I can't even express the level of frustration that I feel. I, I just, got all these doctors, fasting, 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 fasting is the answer, fast, fast will cure you, fast. It's not even about the physical tired. It's about just not. Just not seeing any progress. And the whole reason why I'm even considering extending it is because if I go back to eating, it's just gonna go up. Let's just be honest. <laughs> If I go back to eating, I'm going to be back in the 300s. That's what happened after that seven day fast. It was the whole reason why I went to a 14 day fast. I just, I don't know. I'm just over it.
So I'm back at, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know. I was like so convinced earlier that I wanted to do, go ahead and keep going. But I don't know. And my key cones are doing well. I mean, I showed you guys, they're 4.4. So those are doing well. It's the rest of me. That's just not. <sighs> mm. I, yeah. So anyway, that's, that's the update. <laughs> 212 on the blood sugar. It's been over 200 all fucking day. Except for when I woke up. And I'm over it. So we'll see what happens the rest of the day. I'm gonna finish my skincare and then I'll probably just go sit on the couch for a while. I edited that video that I, I filmed. I need to film another one, but I just can't. I can't, I can't. I just can't. I just can't. I can't today. Not today. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Hello, friends. You may see a stray... <laughs> A stray piece of wax on my face. I tried to get all of it, but I waxed my um, face <laughs> tonight. So um, I have a video on my Misty channel if you're interested to see how that happens or what I do. God, these lips. <laughs> could they be any more chapped? Yes, they could. I shouldn't wish that on myself. Okay, so it's been an emotional day right? Like I've been all over the map as far as emotions today. Ended up taking a nap <laughs> as I do. I'm pretty sure I fell asleep at like 3.30. I fell asleep at 3.30 and woke up like at 5.30. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was 5.30. And came to the conclusion that Friday is my last day. It would be cool to see if I could extend it to 30. But as I mentioned in yesterday's video or the day before video, sometimes your mental health has to come before your physical health. And I think this is one of those times. I also think, which some of us have talked about in the comments, that, you know, 14 to 21 days is probably a good a good amount of time to fast and have my body do what it's going to do. My blood sugars did come down. When I woke up, I was somewhere in the low 150s. And up until about an hour ago, I was still in the 150s. Did I tell you what time it is? It's 10.45, I think. Maybe it's closer to 11. Rob has um, homework tonight. That's what we call his overtime homework. And so he said it'll be up to at least one. And I had a little burst of energy after that nap. So I um, was putting stuff away. I waxed my face, like I said, um, was transferring. I got a, a lotion, I don't know, last month. And the it was that cheap thin plastic and it was cracked down the side. So I finally was able to transfer that into something else. It's... I'm, I'll be 43 years old at the end of April. When I was five years old, strawberry shortcake was new. <laughs> it was new and I can remember, and I'm sure it's still in a box somewhere, um, they had this baby doll. It was a baby, like strawberry shortcake as a baby. And when you squeezed her tummy, she puffed out strawberry scented air. It's supposed to be strawberry kisses. That's exactly what this lotion smells like. It's, the, it's strawberry from the body shop. Awful. I won't ever get it again. Like that smell is okay, like coming from a baby doll, <laughs> but not necessarily one I want to smell on my skin. I'm boy. I'm like not supporting them anymore anyway because 
they have an L MLM attached to them, but um, I have a few things that I need to go through. I actually have a body wash too, which will probably go to Project Beauty Share because blah. Um, so yeah, so I, I feel like I'm feeling a little better. I feel like I'm in a much better headspace than I was when I went, when I took that nap, but there's really no point in extending the fast, um, other than to make it 30 days and to go see the doctor and start a new medication and see what happens. But I've done too fast the last two months. I did that 15 day fast in December and then I've done this 21 day fast. So my inflammation markers haven't come down. They went up and a lot of that's probably the Humira. I get it, I do, but it still shouldn't have been that high because I've been fasting and fasting is supposed to decrease inflammation. So, uh, I don't know, don't ask me. And then when you look online, they're so, there's so much conflicting information about what is okay for like anti-inflammatory foods. You've got doctors saying that carnivore is good and then you've got other articles saying that all meat is bad and I'm just like, Lord have mercy on my soul. So I am craving potato salad, like mustard potato salad. So I think next week I'm gonna make um, faux potato. I hate saying that. Like I hate the word faux potato. But a lot of people cook their cauliflower when they do that. I prefer mine raw, raw or pickled. I watched like 92 videos last night of somebody, of people pickling cauliflower so I could see if I could do it. But um, I'm, I want I want that. <laughs> and it's basically raw cauliflower instead of cooked potatoes. And that's what I'm going to do. I, I, I really, really, really want that. Um, I think I mentioned I'm making raw ribs. I'll probably make some for us to eat during the week. I do think that I'm going to try my hardest to do, um, you know, a carnivore way of ketovore, whatever. Like, have some vegetables. Like, I, did I tell you guys I ordered pizza? <laughs> I don't even know. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw the pizza, the picture of the pizza that I ordered. Maybe I talked about it earlier. I honestly can't remember. This day has felt like 900 hours. Um, but I ordered six, a six pack of pizzas from Lou Malnetti's, which is a very famous Chicago deep dish style pizza restaurant. And you can order it from Taste of Chicago. So this Taste of Chicago reps, website has several different things. Um, but I, we prefer, I like the pizza. I bought that for Rob. No, I did talk about this because it was like 2010 when we lived in the apartment. Anyway, um, I got three crustless ones. So the bottom of it is Italian sausage, then it's topped with mozzarella cheese, then it's topped with sauce. And you couldn't add anything to it. So I've decided I've got some olives. I got black and green olives, which are my fave on pizza and then I've got some mushrooms I'm going to put on it I may put a little shallot or a little bit of onion so I'm going to try that next week and see how I do I may have to end up scraping off some of the tomato sauce because um tomatoes and I uh it tends to bump me up a lot like way more than I thought it would and who knows now I mean God only knows what's going to happen with my blood sugar. But I feel, like I said in yesterday's video, I feel like I'm going to just have to stick with focusing on the ketones and see what happens. This pizza isn't something I'm going to eat very often. Um, but after watching Wes's videos, I want pizza. <laughs> and it's either eat this or order Pizza Hut and scrape off the toppings. I could make a fat head dough, but... Oi. Oi. So yeah, so that kind of that kind of feels like what I want to eat next week and maybe we'll have a ribeye. But I I think Saturday and Sunday, so I'm gonna quit on Friday. Friday at 1 p.m. is gonna be the end of this 
god dang fast. So Friday evening will be bone broth. Saturday will be bone broth. Sunday, I will probably start my day with bone broth and then see if I can handle scrambled eggs later in the day. And then Monday will probably be more soft foods like scrambled eggs or um, maybe I'll um, like um, make an egg salad or something. You know what I mean? Just like something that's soft. <laughs> Hopefully that won't be too hard on my stomach. And then maybe Monday evening, or maybe even Tuesday. Again, I haven't decided on if I'm going to do one meal a day or not. I'm really going to just try to keep eating intuitively and listen to my body. I mean, I'm craving this faux potato salad, and I think my body's like, hey, we need a little something. And I've, um, <laughs> yesterday, I cut up a bunch of cheese sticks and pickles so I could do like dip them and get them flat, uh, flash frozen so I could have them and they're still in the freezer. I was freezing them beforehand so I could, before I did all the dipping and stuff. So that's what I'm gonna have to do tomorrow. So yeah, that's, that's the plan. So my hand smells like 82 different lotions. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much for all your support. This, this fast has been physically easy and emotionally hard, <laughs> like for real. So, and you guys have been so awesome in the comments. Um, I know some of you are afraid of offending me. I don't mind, like as long as you're like constructive or you're nice with your comments, feel free to be honest with me. I mean, th that's why I share this stuff is to, you know, because I'm not the only one that's going through issues. And so, yeah, so I'm going to go edit the video. So it'll be up for tomorrow <laughs> and, um, go hang out and try to keep, help Rob stay awake. But I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow for day 20. <laughs> All right, bye for now.